Democrats. Got rid of assault weapons. We don't need assault weapons hunting. Well, you've obviously never been trapped in the woods with eight of my cousins drunk shooting at your ass. You need extra firepower when you're out there. When you're spotlighting for that herd of deer, damn it, you need a 50 clip. Everybody's down on assault weapons. Let's be honest. When two bullets hit you, it don't really matter if 48 come after it. You know what I mean? Your mind's kind of on them first two. That's what I despise about the government in this damn country. Every time somebody gets killed, oh, we gotta pass a law to stop it. Well, we do have a law to stop it. It's called murder. <laughs> Columbine in Colorado, those two little fuckheads had shotguns. Now Democrats are getting shotguns. We gotta get rid of shotguns now. I go to Home Depot, get a 16 penny nail gun with an air compressor. <laughs> Pull a safety back on that thing with a claw hammer and keep you out of my yard for about two and a half hours. No background check. And no urine sample. But I'll guarantee them to you pretty soon some little 14 year old kid's gonna get a hold of a pass load fuel injected nail gun. His little girlfriend's gonna break up with his ass. He's gonna open fire on a Bible class with a bunch of finishing nails somewhere. And a bunch of damn Democrats will be against the fucking nail gun. The nail gun. It's killing our children. <laughs> Jonesboro, Arkansas had those little dip shits in the woods shooting at the girls at the school. And then some other school passes a law. You can't wear camouflage t-shirts to school. <laughs> yeah, well that's gonna fix it. <laughs> if camouflage was a school uniform, the little fuckers in the woods would have a hard time finding their ass next time. I think they ought to pass a law. 13-year-old girls can't break up with their boyfriends until the end of the school year. That's what I say. <laughs> if you profess to like him in September, you're going to the prom with that motherfucker in May. <laughs> and I'll be running for education secretary 2008. Need your vote. <laughs> See these politicians, especially Southerners. Oh, we need more money for math in our school. <laughs> No, we don't, we need chalk. <laughs> Same thing taught everybody in here, Matt. Oh. Except that little fucker right over there. <laughs> he was in the positive outcome class or some bullshit. <laughs> Ooh, our blackboard was white with a magic marker. Here, Skipper, take the computer mouse, click solve. <laughs> I can teach math with a stick and the damn dirt. <laughs> What's wrong with the American school? Maybe the American ass weapon's missing, ma'am. Maybe that's it. <laughs> my daddy was the assistant principal of a junior high school for 25 years. I got my ass beat by a professional. <laughs> he dropped a dime on the ground, reach over to pick it up, boom, tag you. To this day, every time I see Roosevelt's face, I want to grab my ankles. <laughs> Corporal punishment, oh, it creates inner turmoil in the child. Oh, it's a negative response. Yeah, my daddy whooped the preacher and three of the pallbearers at his funeral. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> they won't let kids pray in school. Then they wonder why test scores are going down. You ever notice the people who are against guns are usually the people that ought to be shot? <laughs> yeah, well. See, I can tell I'm in Georgia now. <laughs> Baptist in the crowd? Well, drink up. Don't matter what they dunk you in, long as you go under. Unlike the Catholics, no matter what the fuck you do, as long as you tell somebody. <laughs> Catholics in the crowd? Well, there's your problem. <laughs> well, I hope you had a nice Christmas and Hanukkah if you're Jewish and hope you had a nice average week for all you atheists. Because I know we've got to respect your right to burn in hell. <laughs> I'm basically just sick of white people. You don't get up to here with white people. Work on a house about two years. Do an addition on the front of your house. Watch white guys come over disguised as construction people. 
When it's over, you'll despise white people. We talk a good game. Oh, you must not have called us. Hell, I did call you. I called white ass plumber. Looked you up in the yellow pages under W, white ass plumber. Try to get a white guy on the phone. Could I speak to somebody that remotely knows anything about anything? I'm sorry, he's not here right now. But if you leave your name and number, I can get him on his beeper. He's still at work. I go, ma'am, it's 11.30 at night. That fucker's on a cell phone getting a lap dance somewhere, ma'am. <laughs> White guy, got a beeper and a cell phone. He'll drive around in a company truck lining up jobs. I go, we're covered up. Shit, we about got all we can do. I can't believe I'm over here looking at this right now. Damn, we'll lose money on that. We are covered up. We go, yeah, you're covered up in Taco Bell wrappers. That's what you're covered up in. When's the last time you seriously saw a white guy with a hammer in his hand out sweating somewhere? When's the last time you broke a sweat, sir? Six months. Don't sit here and bullshit me, sir. Who actually does the majority of the construction work in the United States of America? Let's all say it together. The Mexican guys. That's who actually does the damn work. You want anything done right at your house, you get a Mexican man to show up at your house. He won't show up, you gotta go pick him up. <laughs> but he's waiting on your ass out there. Him and 200 friends of his hiding behind a grocery store somewhere, begging to go to damn work. And there's always some white ass cop with a crew cut and a flat jacket. What the hell is going on with your damn border patrol? He'll drive right by a white guy with a cardboard sign, says, I won't do shit, please give me a dollar. Oh, well, he's a citizen. White guy, got his name on the side of a truck, painted real pretty, got him a logo on his shirt to match his truck, got some cards, he's bonded, he's got a web page. He tell you what he can't do. <laughs> now that right there now, now I just don't know about that right there now. <laughs> you got a Mexican man working for you, you look at him and you go, and he goes, and the shit gets done, he's gone. <laughs> White guy wants to tell you a long story. Now, I know the contract said we'd be finished on Saturday, but my little boy made the All-Stars and got a ball game Wednesday night. If they win that game, we may not finish for six months. <laughs> Mexican man wants three things. Sub sandwich all the way, a large Coke, when I think you want this fucking hole. Think about it, name me one thing thousands of years old still standing that a white guy ever built. <laughs> the Colosseum in Rome, sir? The Roman Colosseum? We got a couple of problems, sir. First off, slave labor built the Colosseum, sir. I'm sure a lot of Italians stood out there and went, they're doing a good fucking job on that fucking Coliseum, Polly. <laughs> I ain't never seen a fucking Coliseum at a fucking lion come out of fucking ground. You fucking A, Joey. B, sir, I'm not sure that fucker's technically still standing. <laughs> and three, sir, you're going under the impression that I think Italian people are white. Calm down, sir, my manager's Italian. I just threw that in there for him. Somebody said it over here. Stonehenge, God bless you, sir. 12 rocks standing up, six in between. And to this day, don't know what the fuck it's for. <laughs> Never saw a white guy at a pyramid. Why? Because it had to be exact. See a white guy at a pyramid. Hell, them rocks look close enough. Shit, we'll caulk it. Let's get some lunch. I actually think Stonehenge was a couple of white boys taking a shot at a pyramid. Got about 12 rocks drug up there. Fuck it, let's build some kind of temple or something. If we had some Mexicans here, we'd get a roof on this damn thing. I bet it turns out it was a concession stand at a fucked up racetrack or some shit. NASCAR fans in here, though? 
perfect example of what I'm talking about. <laughs> this time go to Bristol. Y'all going to Bristol, you damn right we're going down Bristol, y'all going to Bristol, you damn right I'm going down Bristol, y'all going to Bristol, you damn right I'm going down Bristol. <laughs> Wednesday night, they're getting pimento cheese sandwiches together. Turkey sandwiches, bologna sandwiches, tuna sandwiches. Buying a damn sausage, damn sandwiches. Get six cases of beer, make sure you get three bags of ice. They're traveling Thursday, get set up Thursday night, qualifying's Friday, bush race is Saturday, real race is Sunday, it rains, oh fuck, we're standing on Monday. <laughs> Takes Tuesday to get home, then Wednesday, you gotta get ready to go to damn Talladega. <laughs> That's one week, 250,000 white fuckers didn't do shit. <laughs> and the next time you go to Bristol, if you see a Mexican sitting next to you, I'll give you $5. <laughs> They're taking our jobs. No, they're not. They just don't give a fuck about Greg Biffle. <laughs> and neither do you, do you, ma'am? I can just tell by looking at her, sir. You'd have to drag her to Talladega. She'd be like, I don't want to go here. I want to go back to the Junior League party. <laughs> just play with you, ma'am. I'll admit it in public. Damn it, I'm a Bee Gees fan. There, I said it. You know you're secure in your masculinity when you can blow into a rest area at two in the morning with staying alive blowing out your driver's side window. <laughs> Knowing good and well George Michael is waiting on your ass in the men's room there. <laughs> Humming Fanny be tender with my love. Remember that song, sir? Fanny be tender with my love, BGs? I don't know. 1976, <laughs> top 12 record. He went for, I was born in 79. <laughs> I was born in 79, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> Nothing happened till I was born. <laughs> Nothing good happened since you were born. <laughs> we used to ride around on 32 cent gasoline. You get here and the shit's $3. <laughs> I wasn't born yet. I don't remember Abe Lincoln, but I read a fucking book. Come on, sir. <laughs> Hound dog was a hit before I was born, but I can hum the damn thing. You better get a Bee Gees album. You married yet? Yeah. You better get a Barry White album. <laughs> if you're going to a marriage counselor, if a Barry White album won't fix it, fuck, it ain't fixable. <laughs> You'll get pregnant listening to a Barry White album. They ought to put condoms in the CD box on them damn things. I never seriously thought about sleeping with a roast beef sandwich <laughs> until I heard Barry White do the Arby's commercial. Oh, look at that cheese going down on that roast beef. Oh, baby. I love Barry White. You better get with the program back there. You better get a Marvin Gaye box set. Can't get laid to Marvin Gaye, you are gay. I know you're not gay. No gay guy would have a dog hat on backwards with that shirt. So. 